Good morning, guys. I wanted to show you an experiment that we're doing as part of our living mulch work. One of the things that I am evaluating is the efficacy of planting a companion plant or a mixture of plants underneath our Orchard of the Future trees here. So we're trying a couple of different things here. Uh, we've tried a number of different varieties, different mixes here of uh, daffodils. I really like daffodils because they self-propagate. They're high in alkaloids and so they um, repel rodents. And they also don't have a very fibrous root. They have more of an allium type root. And that is really conducive to having a harmonious interaction with the trees. And uh, anyway, we're walking just along here and, and looking at our daffodil plantings. One of the major challenges, of course, is keeping these things weed free until they um, establish well. But I think we can blow mulch onto these berms here and um, the daffodil is just going to keep coming back and we can smother the weed seed. But we've recently had to come in by hand and hoe these out. So um, I'm not worried about that with an experiment, but uh, it's definitely something that I don't want to continue to do in the future. Um, this berm here actually is planted to garlic chives. It's a very small chive and uh, you can see them growing right here. Um, it takes a long time to plant these the way that we did it. And so I think that we're just gonna keep evaluating these garlic chives, see how they turn out. Um, but I don't know if it's practical to do either of these things. But what I do know is that if we don't come up with some kind of living plant underneath our Orchard of the Future trees here, we're going to have difficulty keeping the berm in good shape because we don't want to have bare soil here because of temperatures, extremes in the summer and in the winter with heat and cold. And also these berms erode from irrigation and precipitation. Even though we live in a desert here and we only get 11 inches of total annual precipitation in the form of rain and snow, um, we do have to irrigate these in these berms erode. So we want to have something growing on them all the time. But probably most important is I want to have a 100% coverage with plants on the berm so that we maximize the amount of photosynthesis that's occurring per acre and all of the carbon that these daffodils or whatever companion plants we put in uh, contribute to the soil is going to be very, very valuable to the overall uh, health of the orchard of the future here. So we'll keep uh, keep reporting on this. It looks pretty, that's for sure, and I think it will work. I think we'll be able to contribute carbon, protect the berm from erosion, compete with weeds eventually after establishment, although that remains to be seen, and then also um, have something that's pretty, in my opinion. Thanks.